welcome back to Tommy's Carolina Homestead. Please hit that like, subscribe, and share, guys. Where we left off, you saw me taking out the boards for the brooder. I did the breeding. So let's get into this video. I'm so excited. I was so nervous about this. So this is plywood that I got from Lowe's. I had them cut it to size. The only thing I had to do was put those slits in it when I got home as far as cutting that out and a couple of screws. It's getting clear. The more I think of all the tough times we survived, the more it makes me smile. If nothing's broken us, yeah, nothing ever will. Cause dreams are hard to kill. So, basically, this was my first thing I ever put together. Didn't require any drilling or anything like that. I bought a sheet of plywood at Lowe's. You can get them at Home Depot, have them cut it for you to the specifications that you need it to be. Um, I will try to measure them out so I can put that down in the description for you. Um, Cause I don't remember right off hand and I did it by myself. Um, but it did the purpose for the birds. And if I ever get any more, I can get it in that top that I had, I'll show you. Let me, let me get that and show you what it looked like with the lid on there. Basically, I just took some boards. This was the only drilling that I had to do was making the top to this and putting these on. I didn't use a drill. I just used the staples, but I have a screw here. In each corner, there's a screw. So it was nothing like major that you have to do. And I didn't use this top with the chicks until they started being able to fly up a little bit. And I would put something on the corner to hold it down. But that's what it looked like. Sorry, just caught my eye. What is happening? How did this come down? I tell you. If it ain't one thing, it's another. This is another defense for them. So nothing can just reach their hand in there and, you know, hurt them. Gotta keep them safe. All right. So I've been giving Lily grass and she has been loving it. I'm just trying to get her used to it because I'm going to take her out when I breed them and put them on grass so that they can breed there instead of in the cages. I'm going to see how that goes. But she's loving it. y'all today is today is breeding day first time ever for me and them so i pray it goes well they are a year old these are flemish giants and i kind of have reservations about it because after doing some research it says it's more bone and fat than meat but we're going to try it anyway I apologize in advance, but this allergy season has me shook right now between the rabbit hair and the pollen. This is Lily. She's 
she automatically started eating grass. So hopefully they'll figure it out because this is their first time, both of them. What I'm looking for is three successful fall offs and also watching to make sure she doesn't become aggressive with him. I'm put my other glove on in case I have to put my hand in there. He's trying. He ain't figured it out yet. He got to figure it out, y'all. There we go. That's one successful fall off. Remember, she's new to it, so is he. So she's going to run around for a while. As long as she doesn't become aggressive with him. And today is April 13th, so... 31 days from now, here we go. And that's the second fall off. So I did check their ears, their eyes, their feet, make sure they were healthy. They don't have any diarrhea, anything like that. You just don't want to breathe when it's like that as well yeah, because they are super heavy. three. Luke, you're, you're a talker when you're in action, huh? So that is considered successful. He fell off. She tooted up and he fell off. Now, sometimes they can fall off, but if you don't see her toot her bottom up, most likely they did not connect. So I'll leave them in for a little while longer. So that was number four, and I'm going to be done with this. I thank you guys for tuning in. This was an experience for me. I will not forget for sure. So I am just learning to breed, and I think it was pretty successful for it to be my first time breeding these huge blemish giants, blue blemish giant rabbits. So y'all have a blessed day and I'll see you guys in the very next video. Take care. I love you, but God loves you more. He created only one you. Be the best you that you can be. And when you are, go out and spread God's love. Peace, love, and light. Thanks so much for being here on Tommy's Carolina Homestead. She didn't lift up. So unless she lift up, it's not successful. He's being nice. I didn't realize how gentle he would be. But she didn't lift up for him, so. So my thoughts on this is, we bred bull masses before, and this experience is totally different breeding livestock. Very different. I was trying to see if I could get at least six successful fall offs because I didn't want to bring them back out later, which I did not. So this is the end of the video. Y'all take care. I watch you as you dry. Do you know I'm looking? can't help but smile do you know how much i love you you put my favorite song on i put my feet up 
And we just sing along 